hi guys hope you are all doing very well in this video i have selected different syndromes related to oral pathology and oral medicine that are very important for your pg examination so guys let's start and keep some patience to hear all the video because the syndromes i have selected are very important for your pg as well as your third year or final year examination so so without wasting time let's start crest syndrome calcinitis cutis renounce phenomena esophageal dysfunction sclerodactyly and telangiectasia calcinitis cutis means deposition of calcium in the skin ehler danlos syndrome characterized by hyperextension of joints hypermobility of temporomandibular joint golgi gorlin syndrome characterized by multiple papillomas atrophy of skin polydactyly sunken eye sparse hair Greenspan syndrome this particular syndrome is very important it is characterized by lichen planus vascular hypertension and diabetes mellitus Fanconi syndrome aplastic anemia microcephaly hypogenitalism and olive brown pigmentation Palmer Vincent syndrome characterized by triad of iron deficiency anemia carcinoma of hypopharynx there is post cricoid carcinoma and colonychia you can write down the syndromes mpds my facial pain dysfunction syndrome masticated muscle tenderness pain limitation of motion clicking and popping sound if you are diagnosing a case of my facial pain dysfunction syndrome any of these symptoms must be there along with other Uh, symptoms papillon leaf fever syndrome characterized by juvenile periodontitis palmer vincent keratosis palmer plantar keratosis and calcification of flax cerebri albright syndrome precoce puberty polyostotic fibrous dysplasia cafe au lait pigmentation Marfan syndrome, long thin extremities, hyperextensibility of joints, spidery fingers, arachnoidectomy, bifid uvula, and cardiovascular complications. Pyridobin syndrome, cleft palate, micrognathia, and glossoptosis. Treacher Collins syndrome or mandibular facial dysostosis, hypoplasy of mandible and malar bone, macrostomia or malformation of external ear, high arched palate, bird or fish like face, and anti mongoloid slant. For visualization, uh, you can you can get help from Google. You can Google the syndromes and just. uh watch the uh face if you see the picture you can relate with the now it is written here you can relate a cruzon syndrome or cranio facial dysostosis prognathic mandible hypoplastic maxilla high arched palate or parotid appearance and hypertelorism apart syndrome syndactyly involving hand or and feet known as mitten hands and sock feet with features similar to cruzon syndrome guys if you are having difficulty of understanding the scientific terms like syndactyly hypertelorism just uh, mention it in comment section i will clarify bechet syndrome characterized by recurrent oral ulcer recurrent genital ulcers ocular inflammation so if you get a patient with A recurrent oral ulcer it may be a case of bechet syndrome so you have to take the history if there is any genital ulcer or ocular inflammation is there or not reiter syndrome urethritis arthritis conjunctivitis and oral ulcer so if you get a patient with recurrent oral ulcer or oral ulcer so you can differentially diagnosis that it may be uh, recurrent ductus ulcers it may be herpes virus infected ulcer or bechet syndrome or reiter syndrome so you have to diagnosis by taking history 
Ramsey Hunt syndrome, herpes zoster infection of geniculate ganglion. It leads to facial paralysis of one side with involvement of the external air and oral mucosa. Gorlin Gulch syndrome or jaw cyst cell nevus bifid rib syndrome it is characterized by multiple orontogenic keratocyst, basal cell carcinoma, bifid vasal rib, neurologic, ophthalmologic, sexual abnormalities. It's a uh, lengthy video, so I am just uh, keeping a little f uh, fast pace. Jogan syndrome characterized by keratoconjunctivitis sicca. Gerostomia, rheumatoid arthritis, Peridomberg syndrome characterized by facial hemiatrophy, Van der Wood syndrome characterized by pits of lower leaf, cleft of palate, Astor syndrome, acute double leaf, blepharochialysis, non toxic thyroid enlargement. Nature syndrome, chilitis granulomatosa. Milkerson Rosenthal syndrome, characterized by chilitis granulomatosa, facial paralysis, and scrotal tongue. Pugh Jagger syndrome, multiple intestinal polyposis, pigmentation of face, oral cavity, and hands. Vequitz hypoglycemic syndrome or Vequitz vitamin syndrome, it is related to macroglossia. Rubinstein type syndrome related to talon cusp. Gardner syndrome, multiple polyposis of large intestine, osteomas of bone, multiple sebaceous cysts, impacted supernumerary teeth. Kleinfelter syndrome is related to pterodontism. This was the last slide of my video. Hope uh, you will do very well. I need examination. All the best. Thanks.